many horns of, uh, existing from a guy at that level, like Bix or Louie. Just a few, you know, here and there. And like I said, it adds a little human touch to the whole thing. You know, when you first get into this music, you you listen to the records, and they're just names. It's like it's like it's like following old baseball teams from the turn of the century. You don't know who these people are, and then you get to play something like that, and it becomes real. Same thing in being in Davenport as well. You see his house, you see, you know, his, uh, where he used to play, the old ballrooms, the river, for that matter, all those things, it makes him a real, real thing. Yeah, I'm from Australia, from Melbourne, and um, Bix is ex- significant uh, worldwide. Uh, in, in early jazz, he's one of the key figures. And I said to you, he had to come from somewhere. He comes from Davenport, and of course, locally, he's going to be quite famous. But uh, the same is true all around the world. He's um, he's an absolutely key figure in in the jazz world. I think the most amazing thing is that it's it's a great playing horn. It's a great professional horn, and it does have that sort of sort of sweet fix quality to it. But it's not magic. He still had to do all the work. You know, the first time I picked it up, I thought, oh, it's just going to be perfect, just like the records. It's not. You have to kind of, you know, still steer it in the right direction. Vic certainly did that. He was immortal. <laughs> it's actually quite surreal. It doesn't feel real. Uh, We've spent so many years listening to these guys, um, thinking about the music, trying to work the music out, to actually come to a place and go, my God, you know, he lived here, you know, he was here, he played in this particular hall, he played this particular instrument, it was right beside me, I played in a band with the instrument that he would have had his lips on, and it's, it is, it, it, it adds another element to it that, um, that makes it very real. I wanted to capture that moment. It was really significant. To, uh, that's as close as I'll be able to get to to playing with Bix. Um, he had Bix's horn in his hand. Uh, I just wanted to get that moment and cherish it. <laughs> 